Hi, Searching Solitude here. Today I'm going to be tying the Foam Ass Golden Stone. It's a uh, takeoff of um, some of the flies you've seen in the fly shop before, and I've got a few custom features in here that I think you'll be interested in. Uh, I begin with a uh, size 12 uh, 200R hook in the vise, and I'm using 6 aught black thread that I've tied on. I deliberately tied on one third of the uh, shank length behind the eye, began the, the thread there. I work it backwards to the barb of the hook and let it hang. Other materials I'll be using today is a strip of uh, two millimeter foam cut to about one uh, hook gape wide. Two millimeter black foam, you can use black, you can use brown, I've used yellow. Um, today I have got black. I've also got a, a piece of gold um, crystal flash or yellow crystal flash. I've got uh, red ice fur which is a um, kind of like a red antron um, you can find at your local fly shop. A patch of uh, deer hair, coastal deer hair. I've got uh, rubber uh, Spanflex legs, rubber legging material. Very buggy. It's going to be very helpful. And um, let's begin. Oh, excuse me. And uh, UV ice dub and golden uh, antron blended together. Okay, I begin with uh, the thread at the back here. I take my strip of black uh, tying foam and I measure it for length and bind that down firmly on top of the hook. You got to tie foam down pretty tight otherwise it'll spin around on you. Advance the thread underneath the foam to your initial tie on point. Pull the foam forward and bind it down as well. Now spiral wrap backwards taking care not to crush the foam on top of the hook shank. We want that foam nice and full of air so it aids in flotation. Then I'm going to take the foam and I'm going to create a bend right here, uh, creating a butt piece, if you'd like, onto the, uh, onto the sh fly. <clears throat> I'm going to take my black thread and bind that down as well. Wouldn't be a bad idea if you have glue, super glue, uh, to add a little super glue in the bend and across the top of the hook here, top of the uh, foam body. I'm advancing the thread back to the initial starting point and like I did in step one, binding the foam down firmly on top of the hook. Spiral wrap it back to the initial uh, to the butt section tying point above the barb and now I can safely snip away the excess foam. From here I'm going to take my yellow crystal flash and on the near side of the hook bind that down work my thread back to the initial starting point. Next comes my dubbing, Antron and Ice Dub. And I'm going to apply it thinly, well, thin as I can get here, thinly to the thread. Slide that up. Okay, and wrap forward. I need some more here. Got a pretty much cylindrical body. I'm not trying to create any kind of taper here from front to back. Cylindrical body is fine. I'm going to take it all the way up to the initial point where I tied in my foam. Now I can take my rib and spiral wrap it through the dubbing in even spaces up to the initial starting thread point. Bind that down firmly and snip away my excess. Here is a good time to go ahead and cover the rest of the hook shank with thread in a nice even and thorough cover and a thorough base. Again back to the initial point. Next comes the red ice fur. I already cut a piece off here, kind of sparse. I want that just a little bit longer, just a tad longer than the length of the fly. I'm binding that down, careful to keep it on top of the hook shank and let the back splay out a little bit. I can clip off the excess here in the front. Two more fibers, there we go. And bind down the excess here, keeping a nice even thread body in the front. Okay, advance the thread to directly behind the eye and here is where I grab myself a clump of deer hair 
Nothing too wide, not too thick. Clean it, stack it. Put it in your stacker. With my tips facing the front of the fly, I remove the clump. And actually, what I want to do is clip off the butt sections of these, this hair. Make the next step a whole lot easier if I've got the front sections clipped off. So let me restack that nicely, get all the tips facing the front. Now I've got a significantly shorter clump of hair to work with, a lot easier. I'm going to measure the hair for one fly length, a little bit longer than the shank. Length of the fly, I'm going to hold it securely over the eye and lift my thread up, take one, two wraps around, begin tightening down, and spin. What I've just done is spun this deer hair around the shank of the hook and I'm working my thread back towards the uh, initial uh, tie-in point where I ended my, um, my dubbing. Now I can come very carefully and clip away the tailing or butt sections of the hair, of the deer hair, taking care not to clip away the tips that I stacked, just the butt sections of the hair. Makes it quite a mess. So hopefully you have a, uh, um, a wastebasket underneath your vise. Okay, that's all clipped away. I can stroke back a couple more hairs here, not a big deal. I can, with three fingers, stroke the head of the fly from the eye, stroke it backwards, coaxing all that hair back and slightly up, nice and tight, creating a bullet head. When I've got it all straight and coaxed to the back, I can take my thread and wrap around, cinching that all down tightly in one spot. Now that that's done, I've got some fuzz here, but now that that's done, I can come underneath the fly and clip away the belly, all the hair that is on the belly of the fly, leaving what is effectively a half circle uh, on the bottom half of the fly. Clip all that away. Now I can come back and grab my rubber legs, grab two at a time, about the same length, measure that to the back of the fly, maybe just slightly longer, and I'm going to tie that in on the near side, tie them in together on the near side of the fly. Careful not to let them go too high or too low. There we go. Cinch that down good and tight and take the two together, bring it around the front of the fly to the other side and bind it down on the far side of the fly. Nice and tight. Now measuring against the near side legs, I can see the back, the far side legs and snip away, get them to the length I need. I'm going to come back in here and trim this under wing. It's a little bit longer than I'd like. Okay. Now, Next, I'm going to grab a piece of 2 millimeter red foam. You can use yellow, white, fluorescent green, whatever you'd like. And holding that on top of the fly, I'm going to bind that 2 millimeter strip nice and tightly right through the black thread collar that I've made. Bind that down firmly. Then with my scissors straight across, snip away, leaving me a nice big bright red indicator on top of the fly. Grab your whip finisher. Carefully whip finish right through the collar, thread collar that you've been making. Slice away your thread. Come back to the legs. Find the center. Snip away. Now you've got two front legs, two rear legs, proper length, and you clean up any necessary hairs you've got. And you've got yourself a foam mask golden stone. Fairly easy tie. Let's see if we can get a close-up there on that. It's a fairly easy tie. Um, it's very effective, and it'll float all day long. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care.